Hello, human race. Let's talk about the occult nature of life. Numbers. So many productions I produce here on YouTube. About all kinds of things. Philosophy, politics, sexual activity sustenance abuse activity and the list goes on various topics I speak upon as a melanated brother I haven't been doing work on this channel so it's only right for me to do so elaborate on some things I want to get off my chest if you will and talk about this occult this occult way of life you know there's a lot of people on YouTube that is, is playing games with y'all. They don't know what they're talking about, some of them. <clears throat> they're just trying to sell you a sales pitch. Significant dates, 1776, 322, 333, 666. Okay? <clears throat> 211, 187, and 911 and 411. And the list goes on. You see, in order for you to study the cultists, the covens, and the people who run these organizations, you have to know mathematics. Mathematics is one of their religion. Numbers and dates are very important because they plan out and seek out and do they seances and do they chanting and praying to fulfill what they're trying to succeed in as far as their endeavors in the occult, okay? Whether you may not believe it or not, these, these folk take this thing seriously, okay? This is how they get things implemented and done in the society we live in. You have a lot of practitioners of the dark arts that walk amongst us. You better, you better realize this family. It's no, it's no bullshit. I've been approached by warlocks, witches. Oh yeah, real life. No, no, uh, no, no shucking and jiving. Real talk. And they don't come like you think they'll come. They don't come looking all like clowns. They come well mannered well sought out you know they presentate you know they presentate themselves as as intellectual and everything i mean that's the kicker you know until they get what they want out of you and then you flip you flip flying they got you but in order for them to draw you in they must come you know they must come across as pleasant and, and show warmth and show uh, a, a low frequency when it comes to their demeanor as a body's language you know come off the presence of them towards you as the individual so when you in this activity of life you don't know who you conversing with this is why you have to lean on the most high you have different levels of of, of uh, practitioners you have ones that's ignorant you can see right through the they, they bull crap because they don't know what they doing then you got the ones that's very knowledgeable in the dark arts like I keep telling y'all this you know some of these people know alchemy, some of these people are chemists, some of these people are professionals, usually they are practitioners of the medical field and everything. Everyone that practices on you, everyone that operates on you, don't mean they are holy. They can be unholy too. They just know the knowledge of uh, of um, of medical, of medical practice, you know. Um people. Mathematics is very essential. It is a cult law. The greatest architect of the universe is the most high. This whole planet Earth had to be constructed by the most high. And he had to measure the longitude, the latitude, the celestial bodies, the heavenly bodies, if you will. You know, it talks about that in the book of Enoch and how Enoch was taken up and he was like a, a journeyman to the most high and the angels because they as as he was dreaming 
uh, while the Most High was forming the earth, as I recall reading the Book of Enoch, he was with the angelic hosts and looking at the construction of planet earth. Amazing, ain't it? Very. Noah's grandfather. Very, uh, <clears throat> very in depth. I think he didn't see death either. I think he got taken up. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a long time, folks. I ain't say I was the uh, the genius of the geniuses, but I do do my research to bring y'all commentary. I want to get very serious in this uh, family. I need y'all to view this video. Now, we have this, this, uh, how would I put it? We have this onslaught of ignorance when it comes to some of these black folk on YouTube. Do, 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 I get pissed a little bit, but I'm not surprised because you get what you get. This is an open platform. Everything that's in reality gets on social media too. If they got domains of technology. So it's reality playing out on an upload video through these people's thought processes, you see? So you get what you get. <clears throat> Am I surprised at the uh, cat fighting and the dog fighting and birds and the bees that happen on YouTube when it comes to melanated folks? I'm not surprised at that. Because when you have witchcraft over those communities, like I keep on mentioning in multiple videos, when you have the demonic spirits within them households, those people don't have no prayer, they don't have no meditation, they don't have no melanation in their heart, they don't know nothing about the sciences, they don't know about their culture, they don't want to know about their culture, they embrace it and they suppress this culture, which is white supremacy, and they don't even know it. Because by their own actions, they perpetuate it on the inner city streets through crime and um through crime and murder and drug activity, you know? And that's all given to you by the oppressor and the demonic demon himself and his flock. <laughs> yes, we was the first rulers and, 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 and movers and shakers of civilization way back when. And you know how the saying go. The first shall be last, last shall be first. You know, I'm living proof and there ain't nothing to brag on, you know? But hey, this don't hey, I just I just I didn't I didn't just get here knowing this knowledge by just sitting around and not and not gathering the knowledge. I had to research and do my knowledge and and go off my own experiences living on this planet Earth. So this is what you're getting on this platform. As a brother to brother, as a brother to a sister. Now, see, the majority of stuff is spiritual, uh family. Always remember that. It's spiritual. It's no way getting around that. It is spiritual. You understand me. It is demons, it's witches, warlocks. You can call them greys, aliens, whatever you want to call it. It is plain old demonic beings that want to destroy mankind. Okay? It's a constant battle between good and evil, and evil and good. Got a lot of demonic Fox 5 bring a show out called Lucifer. The devil's just ran his head even more. We had people that talk good talk about Illuminati documentaries. Then you had people envious of Illuminati and want to be in it. You got to be careful what these people be saying out their mouth. You got to pay attention to these people's videos. Then you got to wonder where they're getting all this information from. That may be a trick bag. See? Maybe playing duality, which they bring out, they might be already in it or a, 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 a tentacle to the the hidden hand. And the hidden hand get arrogant sometimes. It show you something, but best believe when they when they show you something, it's already been done and instituted. They already done done the damn thing. Half of the, half of the documentaries you see here on YouTube, they are old, and there's a bunch of other content creators piggybacking off of other ones. It's the same, it's the same old thing. It's the same old thing, but it's just done in a different video. But it's the same old talk. Then you start seeing stuff repeat itself like a broken record. This is why I say you gotta be careful, family. <clears throat> what you partake in. Y'all scream about the rap industry, you know, that's what they want. They want our melanated kids, they want our men to be. You talking about who and they, the ones that don't want us to get anywhere white supremacy the devil himself that 
created white supremacy to keep people at odds and see racism humans didn't create that they had help through demonic activity again through chanting through bringing demons in the portal with you know by communicating in the demon traps talking to demons you feel me this ain't no hocus pocus these people communicate and once they get touched by one of those entities the entities go go into them you know this ain't no play game folks it's demons on this earth and if you got the right 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 coming and the right people to know how to conjure them within your circle through device and summon them it will happen how you think they get all this ancient technology how you think the illuminati is still playing in this playground of life because they've been helped they've always been helped they, they just didn't get that knowledge from nowhere. Someone, you know, some entities helped them out. Come on now. That's why they can get our kids in the rap industry. They probably know you before you know them. I'm pretty sure they do a diagnosis and a and a, um, a survey of you. They know who to pick. They know who come from households that's, and, and the perfect and the perfect candidates is the ones that come from dysfunctional households. Look at your major major rappers of today and of past years. Majority of your top rappers come from dysfunctional environments. Some of them woke up and snapped out of and seen they was played by the majors. Some of them didn't. Some of them take the curd. They don't care. Because they never had nothing. They never experienced living the standards of luxury. Had You know, like the luxury, the luxury, they living up to the luxury, to the standards of America. You know what I'm saying? They never had that quality. And when they get that opportunity by their talent, they don't care about where they came from. I mean, it's a race. They don't, they don't like y'all say, keep it real. They don't keep it real. They don't care. They got millions. They got the best that money can. They got the best that money can buy. They got women. They got sex. All the sex they want. Do you think they gonna? Nope. And that's and that's the kicker. But see, they don't see that they are gonna have to do a blood sacrifice, or they gonna have to take someone out in their family, uh, because the devil requires souls, and and it's angels. They require blood. It's a blood oath. It's a blood oath. Blood in, blood out. This is what you sign up for. This is why you got to go independent. This is why you can't be up under people that's been r moving and shaking through this th thing. And, you know, they've been doing this for years, family. They've been doing this for years. They just haven't just started. They've been doing it for years. So if you recognize, you know, you recognize what's going on or you don't recognize it. Or turn a blind eye. Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma, nothing, nothing new. It's, you know, I've done a video about that earlier. It may be orchestrated. It may be all a ploy. It may be all a game. It may, it may be all a setup to build her record sales up and make which come more relevant. So long as she get her money up. By her beefing with Nicki Minaj, her record sales go up because people like entertainment. People like sensationalism, you see? And that's what happens. So, you know, everything I don't take as, you know, face value, word by word by word by blow by blow. Nah, 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 by beef by beef. I don't take that. Nah, I don't take everything as holding a dial. No. So, that's it. I'm going to take me a little break here for a minute. Bear with me.
Now. Numbers are your best friend, especially when it comes to knowledge and wisdom and education of mathematics, taxes, balancing your checkbooks, knowing how to invest in yourself before you invest in anyone else. That is the key to success. So many of us get in debt simply because we don't take time out to balance our books, checks books, balances, savings books, CDs, mutual funds, everything that got to do with the banking system. We don't, half of us, the majority of us don't study the ins and out of commerce. Excuse me. And we get caught behind the eight ball and end up in debt and end up paying out of the yin yang to all these interlopers that set up these tax firms and, and, and all these firms to to suck the money out of you dry. But if you don't stay, see, all of this, look, this this business aspect of the world, it consists of uh, school knowledge, graduation, accolades, diplomas, certificates, what have you. Then you got to know, now you got to know about the Internet. You got to know about the up and, up and greatest technology. You got to know what jobs is hot and what jobs is not. You got to go into your area and do a survey and do an investigation of the real estate. Who who runs what? Follow the money. Who runs the land? How much taxes is levied on the land? How much money you need to survive? You want to live on the land in a house or a studio apartment or whatever. Now, see, if your job can accommodate, accommodate those expenses, you know, if your job cannot over over reinstate or over over price the place you're trying to buy if it can't accommodate it by decimals and money if it, if it, it, it that matching don't you can't match it because you're gonna be broke you're just gonna be living living paycheck to paycheck i'm talking about purchase you know buying a home a luxury home or what have you a luxury studio apartment but your 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 paycheck got to be two or three times more than the property value and what you about to buy on the property, which is the home. Now, if you ain't making that kind of money three times over, you you hurting yourself. See what I'm saying? And you got people out here just they just making it. They just making it. They just barely making it to the next month. They pay their mortgage or pay their rent. They only they, they got to go to the Dollar Tree or to the dollar store to get their groceries and that's about it and they broke till next month or however they get their check they live in paycheck to paycheck because their job do not accommodate the same influx of where they at far as money wise see see this is the problem folks and this is why you got to know what the hell you doing in this world because you can be working a job and where you live can have you dead broke First of all, think about the the, the, the uh, necessities that you need. I'm talking about food, clothes, and shelter. Then you got health care, Medicaid, and, and all these insurance, and you got these dental insurances. They ain't have, they ain't for, they, half of these dental insurance ain't about, ain't about shit. Excuse me, they're not. It's like hell to get dental insurance. That's another uh, trick. So if you don't get into this red tape and, and master it, it's gonna master you. You can run from it, but you can't hide. Meaning that you try to run from it, it's eventually it's gonna smack you back in the face because you're gonna to have to confront it because this is the way they set it up. And if you don't got education in that, this is why people get discouraged, disgruntled, and going to other demonic activities to gain their currency because they haven't mastered certain things in a financial in the financial and the economic sector of life, which is America. America is built off of antelope and pillaging off of other peoples, especially us and other indigenous people. And knowledge has been stole, hashed around. Um, people have been lied to, everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things that went down back in the past and it, it shows now. And a lot of people wax rich. You understand? A lot of people wax, wax rich 
off of certain things back then. You feel me? They waxed rich. Their families was rich and every and all of them was rich. You know what I'm saying? So the things they done in the past is why these people still got money because they, they, they done it a long time ago and they sold it up. It's like certain parts of the South due to the you know, um, due to the cotton gin and, and the slave trade. Them certain people got those acres and acres of land and all those people back then, they, they got rich off of the blood, sweat, and tears of black folk. The truth hurts, but it's for real. They didn't get it by spiritual gain. They didn't get it by righteous gain. They got it by pillaging, interloping, and slaving other people. Fact is fact, and that's history. But what do we do now? See, you can you can you can cry about that. It's, that's that's over and done with. Now, what do you do now? See, that's the thing. What do you do now as a black as a black person? See, that's the thing. You can sit around and 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 and. and, and hoe and mow all day, you know what I'm saying? But that's not gonna get you nowhere. Listen to the things I tell you, okay? See, these are the things that keep us behind the eight ball, family. These are the things that keep us behind the eight ball. You know, I haven't done one. You know what, I'm putting this on all a month. Forget that. Cause, Cause I want all my, I think about I'll tell y'all about that channel I was going to put it on, but now I'm putting this on the mother channel because y'all really need to get this. I haven't spit no deep game to y'all in a while. You know, and, and it needs to be addressed. Because I, I, I am not going to give up on nothing, folks. So we live in this life. The, the, the destruction of the seed of man and woman the destruction of marriage and the constitution of marriage the destruction of melanated and, and, and anglo human beings the destruction of all nationalities that's what it all comes down to but I'm not worried about the gloom and doom okay I'm not worried about it I gotta persevere I gotta move on to high ground I suggest y'all do the same. Listen to the commentary. Stop falling for these lame, lame topics these people spilling. If it ain't talking about the vibration and the uplift of your melanated being and Anglo being, lead those. Stop listening to it. Because I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you, by you listening to filth, filth, some of these people spit out on social media, by you even listening to them, you are entertaining demons. Okay? Because they speak demon talk out of their mouth. Ranting and raving. Huffing and puffing. Ain't talking about no solution. Ain't talking about nothing. Everything downtrodden. Everything about someone else. Gossip, 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 gossip. Y'all should be tired of that. But some of y'all want to be entertained. Some of y'all like that. Because y'all... Because... That's how y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Y'all live that kind of lifestyle. Misery loves company. Dumb dumbs love company. And I'm not on that lane. Uh, right, I'm in a cat house. All these little cats running around. <laughs> they probably want me to get the hell out of here. They hunting. I'm in no damn way. I'll leave y'all some. I'll get up out of here. Let y'all eat up the squirrels and every damn thing. That's why I love nature. They don't need us. We need them. Shit. You, I look at these cats. These cats, these ain't no one's cats. This is like they jungle. They eat. They eat off the land. They got babies everywhere and I seen the tan one, I seen the black one, now I see a, 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 a Spuds McKenzie joint, you know? Shit, leave them damn cats alone, they can fend for their damn self. That goes to show you. And then we stay out here, we be dead. That's why a, home, a, a man, I'm gonna tell you man, and women, always remember this, you know, and stay strong. 
You cannot beat these streets. You cannot be slick. We ain't men and women ain't meant to live out in this element here. This is for animals. Beast. Beast of the field. Give or take. Spring. Let's say I fall on hard times and I'm back here. Hurry as I am. And dreadlocks and everything in bed. I have ticks on me. Guaranteed. Parasites on me. Be getting bit by the by, by the foxes and, and the rats and the mice and everything. Mosquitoes and end up probably dying back here because nature overtook me and nature was warning me that you're not meant to live out here. You're meant to cultivate, irrigate, irrigate, farm. You're not to live out here though in the wilderness. Okay, I'm gonna, let me, now let me let me get to it. I'm taking my time with this. To let y'all understand, this is why education is very important. Because I don't like to see my brothers and sisters sleeping in the woods and, and sleeping outside and all that, man. Because it's, eventually it's, it kills them. You get all kinds of diseases. Because you're not meant, your, your body is not the way God made us. We wasn't meant to live in the woods or live out in nature. Beast, animals, animals, okay? Animals, not humans. This is why a man get education. He's know the proper measurements of the building trades. Once you know how to measure, once you know how to get a nail, once you know how to get a piece of wood, you're a carpenter. Once you know how to plumb, once you know how to do the circumference of, of, of a circular pipe, and once you know how to solder and use a torch, flux, PVC, glue, channel locks, striker, Rim, they don't do rimming no more. Rim pipe, they still do, some, I think sometimes. Rim pipe, I don't know if they rim it no more. Or flex pipe. Washers. J-bends. That's right. Vent stacks. Drain, waste vent. I go on and on. Plumber, baby. Once you know how to do four-way circuits, three-way circuits, demo switches, ground, red, hot, white or black, neutral, whatever the um, uh, electrical coding is now. That's right, electrician. I'm just trying to give y'all a little example. Building trades ain't nothing wrong with, and a lot of other things that go with it to fully construct you a uh, dwelling that you can live in and bring on your wife and you and your children to go live in it. And you'll see how your body will react. But once you take that house, from a man or a woman, and once those once those human beings are out, like where I'm at now, all hell break loose. The body get diseased, cause we wasn't meant to be homeless. And that's a disease. And I want y'all to learn, cause everything I said, you can apply yourself, man, and, and do it. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Don't hurt nobody, just do it. Make it happen. Make your own job. I learned that a man like that. This man wasn't even certified. I, I, I remember me and my man, we worked one, some of these dudes from upstate New York. Dudes was crooked, crooked than the cricket wall. 
but they knew the trade. They were cement. They were cement. Uh, they were cement brick masons. That's how I learned a little bit of uh, uh, brick mason from those guys. How they fill the concrete in. They told me to shut up. I said, "Why y'all doing all that stuff?" And they said, "Man, don't you know this is how you lay concrete?" They were throwing bottles and sticks and. And, and loose rock and and when they finished it, it was smooth as a baby's ass almost they laid that concrete smooth right over all that junk and they told me the process they said when you do this your driveway will last longer and uh, they was giving me the uh scientific definition and they said now you see these guys do these these highways and do these driveways or sidewalks they don't put no filler in it Within a couple of months, that shit crumble all over again because it have no foundation. So by them putting in the filler and putting on the f finishing touches as concrete, you have solid concrete for years. That's why black men and brothers, have you noticed, even me, I, I can't speak on area other man. If I can't do nothing, if I can't work, if I can't get money the honest way, I get sick. I get sick, man. I mean, sick. Ail ailments. Because it's a sin. It's a sin. We just put here to work. Men, we just put here to provide for our women. And our women was put here the same, but it's a different way. Now, let's get to the females. Culinary arts. Home economics. They took that out to black schools. When I was going to school, they had they was teaching um, uh, uh, young ladies how to cook. And if you want to be a, 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 a in home economics as a as a male, you could be. You know, look, let me tell you something about that because I know people get all stupid. I can cook a little bit. Don't mean I'm don't don't mean I'm going the other way. Look, look. You got male chefs, it's heterosexual men, you know. You got dudes that like to cook. Don't mean they're gay. So let's 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 get that myth out, because I, I get tired of that too. You know what I'm saying? You got bodybuilders that's gay. You got dudes in the NFL that's gay. Okay? So it, it I mean, it don't care what profession you is, if you're gay, you're gay. And that's it at the end of the day. Um and that's and that's that person's choice, you know. This ain't about me bashing, you know, my brothers in the other gender. That's I mean, everyone got to face the man upstairs. They know what the good books say. Hey, hey, I'm not the man. I'm not the I'm not the prophets. I wasn't inspired by the prophets, by the by the uh, by the inspiration.